Folks, we're doing another giveaway for the month of February. It's different though on how you get entered compared to the last few giveaways we've done. Stay tuned to the end, I'll tell you how. Lots of new sound. What? Jim, we're trying to shoot a video here, girl. Oh. Thought we'd show you the shop. It's been a while and for the last three, four months, there's been contractors in and out of here constantly. Hopefully it looks a little different now, but all new lighting, tons of new lighting. This is like, what is it, 180 foot candles and, and pretty much everywhere that you see here, minimum. So there's some spots that are more, there might be a few spots, I can't remember there are less, but around 180 foot candles, this stuff is bright. These are the middle rows, 30,000 lumens each, the outer rows, 24,000 lumens each. Um, once we get the floor cleaned up, either painted or sealed or something, it's gonna have more reflection off of it and it's gonna uh, brighten it up more too. But a lot of things have been happening. Spray foam behind all the walls. Once the lid went on, have spray in, or um, uh, blown in foam that's up there. Had a whole, we kind of have a mezzanine above this little storage shop that was already here. Had a nice wall with like a, a gate, a swing gate, so I can put stuff up there to store it and kind of keep it looking nice up there. Move the stairway 90 degrees, it was against the outer wall, moved it against this little shop here and put a nice railing on there, made under uh, the stairway storage there, put another storage area up top. Getting new windows still, got to swap those out, got new doors, painted the whole outside, put concrete on the north end of the barn. Just got our basketball hoop up Friday, just a few days ago, so that's a lot of fun for the kids. Radiant heat running off propane. We have a, a temporary tank set now. I've got an underground tank on order. Um, I'm gonna bury that here come spring. Oh, and I forgot, all new wiring throughout here too. We have three different uh, 240 volt uh, plugs on here. Tons of other inside and outside plugs. Uh, gooseneck lights, some other nighttime lights over here above the bay doors. I mean, it, I'm probably forgetting stuff, but we've done a lot of work. Well, not me, but contractors have the last few months. And now you're looking at a piece of equipment you haven't seen before. Just got this in yesterday, JCB 3TS8T. So this is a teleskid. This boom extends out here. Side entry, absolutely love this. You may be wondering what the heck's going on. I've already got a 333G and I love that machine. I do, but tax time was rolling around. End of the year, based on blah, 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 everything. I needed some tax write-offs. So I got this and actually also, can't show you unfortunately because it burned up before I could even take possession of it, but a 407 wheel loader for the shop as well. So it can handle snow and all the really heavy loads that come in, big stacks of snow pushers and other, you know, big stacks of flail mowers and all that kind of stuff too. We can move it around easily out there. So I searched all over the country. I found two JCB units at the same dealer down in Kentucky. Okay. This teleskid and the wheel loader. And they were just sitting there Paperwork finalized, everything ready to go, just waiting on my freight hauler to get there and pick them up, taking a couple of days. This dealership had a, a used tractor that came in just for some service and they parked it right next to the wheel loader. And they caught all this on camera. About 3 a.m., that tractor spontaneously combusts, <laughs> caught fire, you know, is, is just on fire, a big fireball, and it gets so hot that it melts the panels that are on the side of the JCB wheel loader that I bought. And so, that sucked, but at least it was still there at the dealer. That's the good thing about it. And so they searched all over the country because these things are really hard to find right now and found one that was en route to a dealer in Colorado, but hadn't been sold to a customer yet. So once that lands in Colorado, they're gonna get it into Kentucky, go through it, do all the, the pre-delivery inspection and everything like that on there, and then get it shipped up to me in Michigan. So there will be more to come on this once I kind of get a feel for it, and same thing with that wheel loader. Folks, if you're watching this, there's a good chance you own a tractor and you're gonna need more attachments in the future. Check out what we have to offer at goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. All right, had to do a wardrobe change, all right? What do you think? You guys like this better? I'm just joking, it's a different day, all right? So 
So time for some updates on Summit as well. A lot of interest on those, uh, a handful of items. Okay, backhoe coming out. Can't wait to get my hands on it myself. I'll have it sometime soon too. Tentatively summer 2023, it's coming out. Um, it will be something that you can add on to a Summit tractor that you already have or buy it new with it as well, either way. Gonna come with an independent operator seat. Okay, so the separate seat back there, this seat does not have to swivel. Mechanical thumb is standard, 12 inch bucket standard, optional eight and 16 inch buckets. Made in Wisconsin, all right? You can figure that out on your own, who makes that? Gonna be called the BHX76, all right? Lots of other stuff going on. In fact, the guys from Summit are actually at the factory right now, touring the latest upgrades. They're looking at the cab version of the TX25 that's coming out. Can't wait to get that one. There's a larger model that is in development right now, a 36 horsepower, so that's in the pipeline too coming. You know, Summit's whole deal is to do things differently, all right? And so they are available at larger retail stores. And there's just a, it's just a different way to buy a tractor, you know, with channels like mine and all sorts of other channels that are out there, forums, there's just so many other ways to get all of your questions answered to get a good understanding of what the equipment's all about. And so they're trying to make it easier to get your hands on a tractor. They'll have like a display model at these retailers so you can still put your hands on it, feel it, sit on it, see if it's a good fit for you too. But then you can go online, read the forum, see what others have to say. You can watch the video, see how it handles the project, see what size attachments are best to work with it. And so Summit's doing things differently there as well. They've got their own sub forum that's on Tractor by Net. You know, they have their own Facebook owners page. You can get a hold of them pretty much any method that you want to. They're there to help. That's kind of the whole idea is they want to be customer oriented, be very accessible for you to reach them. So currently select locations. You go right to Summit's website to see where they're available. This rollout is intentional. I get there's some frustration with that because we show these videos and you can't buy it in your area. That's on purpose. They're, you know, you can't help where the marketing goes, right? I can't help where you're at when you watch my videos about this tractor, but their intent is to make sure that they have the service there to take care of the customers who are buying their tractor. So in every area they expand into, they are set up with qualified service technicians to cover that geographic area. And they're not gonna sell to you in, I don't know, an area that doesn't have service set up and ready to go. So once they have the tractors available for sale in your area, that means they also have the necessary service available for it too. So you can get this of course at Atwoods, Runnings, Family, farm, and home, tractor supply, select locations, and another huge retailer coming soon too. So you gotta be patient if you can. More information coming as soon as we have it. Last thing from Summit, more updates on attachments. We talked about the backhoe already. The grapple is out, like the grapple you see on the front here. It's available for JDQA as well. They're coming out with larger versions too, bigger, beefier designs to, to take the brunt of a larger machine. So it's not just for a Summit, for any SSQA tractor that you might have or any JDQA tractor you might have they'll have something available. And the box plane is coming spring of 2023. Gonna start with the 60 inch, they're gonna roll out the various other sizes later in the year. So you'll get that right from Summit's website too, just a direct ship model right to you. Couple things to tell you about out here. First, this is our most recently installed gravel driveway area. And with this one, I didn't put a crown on it. I just kind of had it gently slope from one side to the other. And the idea behind that was to try to make it easier for snow clearing in the winter time and to allow rain to just, and, and groundwater, I guess, to just kind of slowly uh, sheet across instead of trying to do washouts or anything else and build up uh, anywhere. And so far it's working. There are no areas on our driveway where there's any puddles or anything like that or any washouts that are starting to occur. And you can see in the background just all the water, it's been raining like constantly out here and, and on, the, on the asphalt driveway, there's puddles on there, right? So it's definitely gonna happen if it's gonna happen, but this driveway is doing what it's supposed to do. Now, I really don't like this big drop off that we have here. You go down quite a ways. I mean, that's, if you're right here at the edge, that's, well, that's about up to here. So it's a, it's a big drop off. We're gonna bring in a bunch of topsoil and, and kind of build it up and taper it down a bit come spring, but that was part of getting this to be a gentle taper instead of a big a big drop off you know and when it's frozen and icy your vehicles want to slide off and it's not that bad anymore so we just had to build up this side a lot but uh, another project to tackle come spring so folks that brings you up to speed with what's going on around here lately now of course we do sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country so if you're looking for something for your tractor for the front end loader or the three-point hitch check out our website goodworkstractors.com see what we have to offer 
We'd love hearing your business. If you want to keep up with what's going on around here, make sure you hit subscribe right down below. We'd love to have you tag along. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Okay, so now for the giveaway. All right, so this is different. We're going to put, we're hiding an image, I guess I should say, of a, a red stump wrecker. All right, there's going to be a red stump wrecker image somewhere on our website, goodworkstractors.com. It's not going to be on Facebook. It's not anywhere on YouTube. We'll show it there for examples of what to look for, and you'll see it in this video too. But go to our website, goodworkstractors.com. It's hiding somewhere on there. We've been running this for a few days already. If you follow uh, my other social media or signed up for a newsletter too, I've let you know about this. Going all through the month of February, so take your time. If you got a couple hours to kill at work, go ahead and scroll through there and see if you can find it. Many have been trying and many have been unsuccessful so far too, but we have had some. So the, the odds of winning are actually pretty darn good for this one if you do find out where it's at. So this is open to folks in the lower contiguous, contiguous? The 48 states that are touching each other, okay? They don't ship internationally, don't ship to Canada right now, don't ship to Hawaii, don't ship to Alaska. It's gonna be good for a mini stump wrecker, all right? If you wanna get an HD wrecker, if you do end up winning, just pay the difference, it includes shipping, okay? But you gotta send us a link to that listing from our website, include your name, your email, your phone number, and email it all to support at goodworkstractors.com to be entered again, 228-2023 at midnight is a cutoff for this. We'll do the drawing shortly after that in early March.